was a deadly weekend across the triad. Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point each saw shootings, death and other crimes. In High Point, someone shot and killed at someone else at a hotel. It's just one of hundreds of calls officers have responded to at this location in recent years. In light of recent crimes, one nearby community has re-upped their mission to do something about it. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries explains. Over the weekend, this High Point Hotel was surrounded by police investigating a homicide. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but it did. And so that just kind of gave me more incentive to, to continue forward with this. This is the type of crime Jim Bronert says he's been trying to prevent. Bronert lives close to the in-town suites, and he's been worried about the array of crimes that's unfolded there for years. It's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Well, everybody wants to live in a safe neighborhood and we all deserve to be in a, in a safe neighborhood. High Point deserves to be a safe place to live. Of the calls police have responded to here, suspicious vehicles and domestic disturbances are at the top of the list. Because of the high number of calls, High Point police are making more stops and checking in on people in the area. It's been a priority from the police. A man learned that this morning. There have been a lot of self-initiated calls from the police. Um, but yeah, I had the feeling it extended states, folks experiencing homelessness and the struggles and all that. Um, I think over time it maybe it's become kind of a place where people can go and do things they probably shouldn't. The hotel is in Councilman Patrick Harmon's ward. He's aware of the situation and has been doing his own homework to see what the options are. There's nuisance abatement um, that's been done here in High Point, actually just, just over here. Um, I just read this morning Charlotte bought a hotel like this and it's planning on knocking it down and putting some affordable housing there. Um, again, I'm not saying the city's going to do these things, but I mean, you know, what's in the toolbox and how can we address the situation and be compassionate at the same time? Right now, neither community members or city leaders have the perfect solution, yet they're hoping an upcoming meeting will bring about some results for the city's sake. It'll be disappointing and I don't know where we would go from here then if, if the city can't do anything or do very little to solve it, then I'd, I don't know what the next step would be. Bronard says the Oakview Citizens Council has had their eyes on this hotel for years and recent crimes have sparked their concern yet again. They're planning a meeting with city leaders in February.